If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Before entering new vendors into a company file, set the desired vendor defaults to prevent entering repetitive data values for each new vendor. To set the default values for new vendor records in Sage 50 Accounting, select Maintain, Default Information, Vendors from the menu bar to open the Vendor Defaults window. The Vendor Defaults window stores information that is common to most of your vendors and purchase transactions. These default settings are applied to each new vendor record you create. Therefore, set these values to the most common settings for new vendors. You can always change the default settings on a per-vendor basis when you later create the vendor records if needed. To create the standard terms for payment applied to most invoices you receive from vendors, click the Payment Terms tab in the Vendor Defaults window. In the Standard Terms section, enter the most common terms received from most of your vendors by selecting an Option button, and then entering the values into the fields in this section. Next, to set the default accounts for expenses and vendor discounts, select the desired choices from the Expense Account and Discount GL Account dropdowns in the GL Link Accounts section. To set the default aging brackets for vendor bills, click the Account Aging tab. To set the default date used to age bills, select an Option button in the Age Invoices By section. Then enter the default aging brackets for payables and the column headings for each one in the Aging Categories section. To create custom fields for vendor records, click the Custom Fields tab. To enable a new custom field for vendors, check its enabled checkbox and then type its name under its adjacent Field Labels column to add that field to the vendor records. To set up to 20 default payment methods you use to pay bills, click the Pay Methods tab. Then enter the names of the payment methods from most to least frequently used into the Payment Methods column. To set how payments to 1099 vendors are recorded for reporting by default, click the 1099 Settings tab. If needed, select your desired default reporting choice from the 1099 Type column for each general ledger account used. To apply the vendor defaults after setting them, click the OK button. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www dot teachyoucomp dot com